Just a quick disclaimer before starting, this is not for beginners. So please watch some tutorials before attempting this one. Thanks. First thing you're gonna do is select your cube, then go to the modifiers and you're gonna add a, mod a mirror modifier. After that, you're gonna add a bevel modifier, set segment to two and limit method to weight. What it's gonna do is allow us to bevel only certain edges like this. You can also use creases and you're gonna add the uh, subdivision surface modifier, set it to two and four for render. And then you can use like the creases to make edges sharper. You can also use the bevel or you can add loop cuts just like this. So these are the three methods. I prefer the loop cuts and that's the one we're going to mostly use in this tutorial. So shade it smooth, then add a um, shrink wrap modifier. You can just fold that subdivision one. We're going to go into the edit mode, then create a new vertex group. We're going to assign all vertices to it and rename it shrink wrapped parts or whatever you want doesn't really matter. Assign them just to be sure. Okay, perfect. Then going back into the modifier stack, just assign that group to the shrink wrap. Then we're going to add a solidify modifier, set it to three millimeters or 0 0.03 uh, meter. And then we're going to add a 0 0.003, sorry. And then uh, check only rim. Then we're going to add a shortcut to the fly or walk navigation under the view, then camera. So you can press control F just like I did here. And yeah, let's take a pause. No, I'm joking. Go to the preference, then add on, and then you're going to install this list of add on and you can see the list of modifiers and all their settings for now. Okay. That's a lot of information. So just take it slow and then go into EV and check all those boxes, uh, the screen space reflection, bloom and ambient occlusion. Then in cycle, switch back to GPU rendering, then go into preference and just turn on um, CUDA if you have it, optics if you have it, and just increase your undo steps if needed. So set the contrast to high contrast, always useful. Then what we're going to do is go into side view, stretch this until it's about 4 or 4.5 meters. So it's this, the size of a car, move it up a tiny bit, yeah about there. Then file default, then you're going to save this as startup file if you want to make more cars in the future. And that's it. That's your new file. And then inside view, we're going to add a reference image, pick the Bronco side view or any vehicle that you want inside view. I'm just going to import it quickly right there. Then what you're going to do is check only axis aligned, then reduce its opacity and make the wheels touch the ground. And we're good to go. Almost. Just match the scale to your cube. Okay, that was the easy part. See you next time.